Tommy V in Michigan. He was on fire this morning. Hey, thank you, Tommy V in Michigan. Th that, yes, sir. If you, if you share my prayers. Mm -hmm. my Tommy V's on. Yeah, we'll jump over there. Tommy V doing great stuff over there. Hello. Miss Wilson? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. The court will call the matter of the state of Michigan versus Devin Wilson, 20S00645. Stephanie Cannon with the Public Defender's Office with and on behalf of Miss Wilson, who is appearing by Zoom. Miss Wilson, could you please state your name for the record? My name is uh, full name, full middle first, first and middle and last. That's fine. Uh, Devin Jeanette Wilson. Thank you, Miss Miss Wilson. Um, you're here today be, to be arraigned on a bench warrant that was issued for you, ma'am, back on March 10th, 2021. You had uh, been arraigned before the magistrate, Magistrate Nelson, at the time on February 9th, 2021, and told to show up on March 4th. You failed to appear. <clears throat> I gave a show cause adjournment to, eight, to March 11th for which you failed to appear again. So you did not appear for it on two separate occasions. Um, and so a bench warrant issued in the amount of 7,510%. What would you like to say on behalf of your client? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, my client is uh, very apologetic for not making it to court. Uh, she has a substance abuse issue along with some mental health issue. And around that time, things were very serious for her in that realm. Since then, she did complete a year of inpatient treatment at Naomi's Nest. Uh, and she's doing much better with her sobriety. Uh, she is not a danger to society. Uh, she has no abusive behavior. Um, and her family, uh, since her treatment has surrounded her and she is, uh, her community ties, uh, are much stronger. She has assured me and she's going to assure the court that if she is released on PR bond, she will return um, uh, to the next court date, Your Honor. Did the client get picked up? Yes, Your Honor. How did she get picked up? I'm not sure, Your Honor. Miss uh, Wilson, could you tell the court how you were picked up? Um. Yes. So I was um, stopped. I was out in um, Wayne County hanging out with a friend. Um, I had crossed the railroad tracks, you know, during traffic. I had got um, picked up and uh, I had no warrants or anything like that except for here. So they called here and asked if um, you guys wanted to um, have me, um, what is it, extradited? Is that the word? Like over to here? Um, and you guys wanted me, so I um, got picked up then, and um, now I I have been here over the weekend, which I've had the weekend to thank and everything. And like I said, I am very apologetic for not showing up. To be, if I could be completely honest, ma'am, Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson, at this time, I'm just going to advise that you not say anything in addition okay, to the yeah, court okay. outside of apologizing for not appearing. Yeah, yeah here she I, has a hold out of Dearborn. Yes, Your Honor, I did discuss that with her. Um, and that hold is, it is uh, monetary in nature. It's my, it's my understanding she has some fees that she has to pay out there, according to my client. All right, this um, particular case is assaultive in nature. And she has a history of failing to appear. Does she have a place that she can go to to reside? I do. Yes, Your Honor. She lives um, <clears throat> either with her mother or father. She tends to go between the two. But which one can she be tethered to? Miss Wilson, uh, is, is there a home you can be tethered to? Yes, it'd be out in Wayne County, though. That's fine. What's the address? Uh, I, you know, I don't know the address by heart. I'd have to call and get, my, I mean, this, I'm back and forth between my mom and my dad. 
But if I'm going to be tethered, it's going to have to be to my friend's house. Because I don't believe my mom or my dad's going to let me be tethered there. Ma'am, but I can honestly, I can assure you that I will be at this court date, like, after doing a year of no, sobriety. You're assured us that at the first time, too, ma'am. I'm not willing to do that without a tether. Your Honor, if you would be willing to release her back to inpatient treatment, um, I don't I don't believe my client would have an issue with that. All right. Defendant may be released to inpatient treatment. Or tethered. It doesn't work that way, ma'am. I don't get to do and ors. So I'm here until uh, inpatient treatment is open then? Or until your next court date and you can provide us with an address to which you can be tethered. Uh, can I speak to my mom about being tethered there? I can move it to my yeah. I'll put it over for one week. So can I go to Naomi's nest? They'll take you, ma'am. That's an inpatient. Is that an inpatient, an inpatient treatment? treatment in Highland Park, and they always have openings. Yes, if you can get them to take you back there, that's fine. So I can go there today. I don't know when they're gonna allow you to be released, ma'am. I will. I will allow the release. That's up to the jail, and whoever's gonna transport you. April twenty second, two thousand twenty four, at nine a.m. Thank you, Anna. Can we speak at, um, privately? Me and you? Yeah. I can um, attempt to make it over to the jail uh, this afternoon to talk with you. So, but Naomi's nest can take me like right now. You'll be in touch with an agent. You can let the agent know, but I will come by and see you after court. I'll come see you after court. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Um, if I talk to my father and he says I can be tethered there, is that still a possibility? Because I'd have to call and ask him, you know, I can't just say, hey, I'm tethered. Yes, the court is, if you can't get an inpatient, the court is willing to tether you, um, but they won't be hearing that until next week. So I'm stuck here until next week. Or till inpatient treatment, yes. But but Naomi's nest can take me two days. So I can can I go to inpatient two days? It depends on how quickly they can arrange it. Like all I have to do is call and they'll say, Yeah, I can come. It still has to be arranged through the jail. Everything just has to be arranged. You may be there for 24, 48 hours, but you they if you can get in, they'll get you in. I also have one more question. Like, I don't even remember what um what this case was about. Like, so what did I absolutely Ma'am, ma'am, you need to um have the next person come. Okay. You need to knock on the door. I'll come see you after court. Thank you, Your Honor. State of Michigan versus Devin Wilson, case number 20S00645. First time we for the people. Assistant Public Defender Sandra White on behalf of Devin Williams. Wilson. Thank you. Devin Wilson, if you could please unmute your device, turn on your camera. Oh, there you are. Please state your name, ma'am. Devin Wilson. We're here for a pretrial today. The defendant was to be referred to the recovery court. And I'm not sure why we put it over for just one week. I didn't write a note about that. I can um, help with that, Joanna. 
we were also supposed to be getting um she miss wilson was desperate to basically release uh, be released from custody and um the options the court provided to her were not ones she felt like she could use which were home confinement to either of her parents addresses and so uh she was supposed to be presenting you with proof of her treatment her previous treatment at naomi's nest which was while she was out on bench warrant status and um I think I think it was mostly that and uh, the status update on where she was with the recovery court referral. That is correct. Um, the referral did not get done. Miss Miss Wilson and I were discussing that and whether or not she really wanted to do it. Um, she has decided that she is willing to do recovery court. We are asking if Your Honor would agree to release her on a personal recognizance bond. She will do that assessment with recovery hey, court. Hey, can we stop for a second? Because I'm still missing the most important piece of this, which is where's the proof that she had treated? That did not, that did not get done. There was some confusion. At, um, it's hard to explain. Can we approach? All right, this uh, we're back on the record in the case of Stephen Wilson. Um, I am um, had a breakout room with counsel in this case, and I'm gonna give you an opportunity to have a breakout room with uh, your client, but I'm not recalling this. I'll see everybody back here on May 13th. You can talk to your client about that. Yes.